Now children, you all have written question number one, that is new words in your notebook. Now you will turn and on the new page you are going to write question number two. Yesterday we have learnt about the sources of food. So in today's class we are going to do the notebook work. Alright children? Question number two is draw a word web of food we get from plants plants all right children full stop close inverted commas these are called open inverted commas close inverted commas now this you have to write in the four line but the word web you are going to draw over here all right children food we get from plants now here you can make a cloud or you can make a circle or a rectangle all right children fruits f r u i t s fruits now you can write the names of any two fruits of your choice all right children so i am writing apple and mango now this side you are going to make an arrow and write here vegetables you can write the names of any two vegetables of your choice. Alright. So I am writing here pumpkin and beetroot. Alright children. Now here you can draw another arrow and write here grains or food grains are also called cereals. So we get, you all have seen those plants of rice and wheat. Alright children, rice and wheat are cereals. They are also called food grains. Now here you can make another arrow and write here pulses. You know what are pulses? You all eat beans that we get from plants only rajma beans or you can say kidney beans kidney beans and we get grams also you know what are grams bengal grams green grams that also we get from plants all right children so like this you are going to make in your notebook all right children now children after doing this you have to turn your page then write question number three draw A pictorial that means you have to draw the pictures of the food items pictorial word web of food that we get from animals remember children we have done the sources of food as plants and animal so here we are going to write answer number Three. Now, 
we are going to make pictures and we are going to write the names also so we get eggs from hen all right children so here we are going to draw the eggs simple drawing okay and then you can write e double g s eggs eggs we get from hen all of you drink milk so milk we get from buffaloes and cows all right children then comes honey so we are going to make the jar of honey all right children and simple drawing you are going to make with standing line slanting line and again standing line here you can write honey all right children so this we get from honey bee then comes chicken so you can make chicken very easily like this all right children and here you can draw the plate also so chicken c h i c k e n chicken then comes mutton or you can say meat m e a t me again we can draw a plate over here and on that we can make a piece of lamb and if you want you can color also children all right so this is mutton or meat now children with milk we can make more items like ghee all right children ghee here also we can make a jar of ghee then cheese cheese all of you like to eat cheese so we can make a triangle a curve two standing lines and one sleeping line so here you can draw a piece of cheese c h w e s e cheese then comes yogurt or you can say curd also all right children you all should eat a bowl of yogurt all right children that means the he now comes butter you all love to eat butter that is also made up of milk all right children here you can write butter amul butter everybody likes sweet amul butter isn't it a m u l amul butter so this also we get from milk so like this children you can make the pictorial word web of things that we get from animal source now question number 4 we are going to write here only all right now in this children i am going to give you jumbled words like the spellings which are going to be jumbled and you have to rearrange them all right to find out the food items or the fruits and vegetables all right so number 1 is Now children can you read these letters a m g n o 
does it make any sense no so what we are going to do we are going to unscramble them now you have to think this is the name of a fruit so like m is there so we are going to write m then comes a then n g o so which fruit is that mango understood children in this way i am going to give you few names and you have to rearrange them to make proper names of fruits or food items and vegetables also now children i am going to give you the hint for example i have made uh, mango over here so all of you can see the picture of a mango all right now here i am not going to tell you but i am going to draw and you have to find out what is it okay all right children all of you can see now if you want you can draw this also okay yes then comes hmm they are very healthy and they are red in color all right children and this we should eat then comes yeah all of you can see the oval shape then now you have to find out which food item is this okay now this one is very healthy it is a leafy vegetable all right you all have done plants around us in this we have learnt about this leafy vegetable it's very good for health all right children it has lots of iron in it then this also is a vegetable but it is orange or red in color and rabbits like to eat it now this one is white in color shape is almost same but the colors are going to be different and we cook the leaves also of this vegetable all right so now you have to unscramble them and you have to write over here afterward i am going to share the pictures of the answers okay if you want you can take the help from your book from page number 40 and page number 41 all right children understood you all can see the pictures and the names also so do it very neatly all right bye bye